So guys, previously we have discussed the branches of the subclavian artery. We have also discussed the branches of, uh, let us say, your axillary artery, right? And now we shall be focusing and discussing the branches of uh, your brachial artery as well as the radial and the ulnar artery, okay? Your brachial artery will give some branches. Your radial and ulnar artery also will give some branches. So these branches are called, these branches in turn, they join with each other and form anastomosis. Okay, so one very important thing you need to know that so this is your brachial artery for example. So what is this artery? This artery is your brachial artery. Okay, so this is your brachial artery. Now this brachial artery divides into two branches like this. This brachial artery divides into two branches like this. Okay, so one artery here is called as your radial artery. One artery here is called as your ulnar artery. So one is your radial artery, another one is your ulnar artery. Okay. Now look at these arteries here. So brachial artery will give few branches. Okay. So what are these branches? We'll be discussing in detail. So whatever branches are given by brachial artery like this. Okay. Let us say from brachial artery you have got some branches like this. From radial and ulnar artery also you have got some branches like this. So those branches which are coming directly from the brachial artery, these are called as collateral branches. These branches are called as collateral branches. Okay, these are called as collateral branches. Next, the branches which are from coming from the radial as well as the ulnar artery, these are called as recurrent branches. Okay, these are called as recurrent branches. So we have got two different types of branches. One is called as a collateral branches and the other one is called as a recurrent branches. Okay. So what are these collateral branches and what are these recurrent branches? We shall look into them. Okay. So first of all, again, let me draw the picture in bit detail. So this is your brachial artery. Okay. And brachial artery is dividing into your radial artery on one side as well as the ulnar artery on the other side. Okay. The right side one is your the right side one is your radial artery. Anyways, I'll write it down. The right side one here is your radial artery. The left side one here is your ulnar artery. Okay. Now look here. This brachial artery will give out a branch like this. Okay. So this branch of brachial artery is called as deep brachial artery. What is the what is the name of this branch? This is called as deep brachial artery. Okay, now this deep brachial artery divides into two more important branches. Okay, so this deep brachial artery divides into two more branches. Now, what are these branches? I'll tell you later on. Okay, so for now, just I'm telling you that it divides into two more branches. On the other hand, on the other hand also, directly arising from the brachial artery, there is a branch like this and there is a second branch like this. So, there are two branches like this. So, how many branches total? One, two, three, four branches. So how do you remember all of these branches are? You can remember by a mnemonic S I M R P A I R S I M R P A I R. Okay. Now look here. What are the branches that are coming from the radial artery? From the radial artery down, you have got a branch all the way like this that is anastomosing with the branch of brachial artery. I mean the deep brachial artery, right? And look on the left side. Here also you have got two branches. This is one branch and this is another branch. Okay. Next important thing is that from the ulnar artery, you have got a branch that is coming like this. So this branch is called as common interosseous artery. Why it is interosseous? Because it is present between the radial as well as the ulnar bone. Radius as well as the ulnar bone. Okay. So this artery, let me write it down. This artery over here, this is called as common interosseous artery, common interosseous artery. Now this is common for two more arteries. It means this common interosseous artery divides into two. So this is one branch and this is another branch. So what is this branch over here? This is called as anterior interosseous artery, anterior interosseous artery okay whereas this branch is called as posterior interosseous artery posterior 
interosseous artery. So we have got anterior interosseous artery, we have got posterior interosseous artery. Now from the posterior interosseous artery, look here carefully, from the posterior interosseous artery, you have got a branch that goes all the way like this and it anastomoses with the second branch of the deep brachial artery. Okay, so now what are these branches here? Now what are these branches are? What does S stand for? And what did I tell you? The pink ones are all collateral branches and this golden ones are all the recurrent branches. Okay, so look here. This is the first artery. What is the name of the first artery? First artery starts with the name S. And this artery, compare the first artery with the second artery here. Which is on the top? The first one is on the top. Which is on the top? The first one is on the top. So that should be called as superior. So the artery is named as, the artery is named as superior, right? Superior and it is on the ulnar side or it is on the radial side. Obviously this artery is located on the ulnar side. So superior ulnar and what type of branches will it give? Collateral or recurrent? The upper ones are all collateral. The lower ones are all recurrent. Superior ulnar collateral artery superior ulnar collateral artery okay so that completes our s and what is for i the second one so if one is superior then the other one will be inferior so this is called as inferior and it is on the ulnar side so inferior ulnar collateral artery this is the second one now let us look at the third one as well as the fourth one. What is 3 and 4 stand for? Look here. The second one is done. And the third one is with M. M stands for middle collateral artery. Okay. So the third one is the middle collateral artery. And finally we have got the fourth one. What is that fourth one? Fourth one is with R. R means the radial side, right? It is on the radial side. So this is called as radial. Radial and upper one gives collateral branches, you know. Radial collateral branch or radial collateral artery. Radial collateral artery. Okay. Next important thing. Next important thing is that SIMR, SIMR is pairing with PAIR. It means, look here very carefully, that S pairs with P. I pairs with A, M pairs with I and R pairs with R. So let us start from S here. So S pairs with P. So what is this P over here? So this P over here, this P over here is called as posterior. So posterior and it is on the ulnar side. So posterior ulnar and what kind of branches? Collateral or recurrent? The lower one is always giving recurrent branches. So posterior ulnar recurrent artery posterior ulnar recurrent artery okay now let us look at the next i pairs with a so this would be a what is this a a stands for anterior ulnar recurrent artery anterior ulnar recurrent artery okay so we are done with s p i and a now let us look at m and i so where is M here? The third one is M, that is middle collateral artery. Middle collateral artery is pairing with I. What is I mean? I means interosseous recurrent artery, right? And this interosseous recurrent artery is directly coming from which branch? The posterior interosseous artery, clear? And what is this branch over here? This is called as your interosseous recurrent. Interosseous recurrent. And finally, and finally, we have got R pairing with R that is radial recurrent artery. Radial recurrent artery. So these are the branches here. So if whatever you are seeing here, right? So whatever you are seeing here, these are the anastomoses. So how many anastomoses we have around the elbow, right? So these are the anastomoses that are located around the elbow, right? So we have got four anastomoses around the elbow. So what are these four anastomoses? Superior ulnar, this is superior ulnar, right? Superior ulnar collateral is pairing with posterior ulnar recurrent. Next, inferior ulnar collateral pairing with anterior ulnar recurrent. Next, we have got the interosseous recurrent pairing with the middle collateral artery and the radial recurrent pairing with the radial collateral. Okay, 
radial recurrent pairing with the radial collateral. So these are the basic anastomosis which you definitely have to know.